Okay, they watch the reality in the real video, and then you'll understand where we get this energy from space, the sunlight that hits down. And basically, let's go to the Japan volcano real fast. And this, pay attention to this lineage of the light that we are getting, and that it'll in probably increase over the years. Okay, along these lines here, the Navy flood maps are for a reason. And uh, I think that I can zoom in or whatever. No. So, any let's factual, just keep an eye on your quakes, and remember that uh, basically Cali had three on top of each other, pretty, and they're all in the Sierra mountain range up there, okay? Anybody that's from California knows that, with those three, uh, these three here, there was one, two, three quakes, so uh, Sierra mountain range. So keep an eye on everything going on. Uh, RSOE is a very good tie-in for everything from reality human life to what's going on with tsunami information and uh, volcanoes, earthquakes, in case anything gets knocked down, they usually still throw USGS because basically they have a feed, so unless USGS knocks them off, they still get to see what's going on and then you can see what's going on with volcano activity around the world and you can also get more volcano activity knowledge you get details you can go in there and pull them up and what the interesting thing about bringing you to RSOE to watch tomorrow is the idea factuality of the velocity the speed we got another fast baby not up to the 30 uh, kilomiles a second through space but you're gonna have some slow objects coming by and then a bigger faster one so we should have some interesting activity on the 10th tomorrow, okay, with magneticism and so forth and so on through space to our Earth core magnetic core. So, and like I say, we uh, if you watched the video before last, CME that barely missed Earth, so it was quite large. So in the future, I'm going to take you to NASA NEO and we're going to show you the factuality that the closest object approaching, and it's not out here, I'm going to end up going into some research that I did. The closest thing we got coming by us is in January and February of next year. Okay? Of 2013, not 2012, like everybody's telling you. Okay? And as you've noticed already, the Earth is not going to flip like a coin, ladies and gentlemen. It would flip slowly. Remember 40 days, 40 nights, your Bible. Okay? So the idea that there will be flooding in certain areas of the world eventually but it's not going to be from the earth flipping it's just going to be from all kinds of earth reaction to suns and objects in space and our magneticism and our travel through space following the sun we rotate around the sun and the supergiants so uh, the closest object that we have coming to us is is in 2013 okay so don't be freaking out about what anybody shows you in later in the year of uh, December, okay? There will be closer stuff in the 13th, okay? And the stuff in December was not going to hurt you. And I really doubt the stuff in all around in 2013 will not bother you either. And remember, Bino's date and time is always down here in the right-hand corner down here, okay? So that's Central Standard Time, and then basically our tail is a wagon on the South Pole on our aurora. Our auroral, our oval eye, as we go through space, as we spiral like a bullet through space at more than 60,000 miles an hour and more than 66,000 miles an hour right now, which is way faster than the normal average of 60,000 miles an hour. Okay, so uh, the sun's been active, I believe, because we did have that CME. And what do we got for a temperature up here? Uh, the temperature is a little dropped. So. Let's take a look at some data down on the bottom here, active and quiet. So we will go down and see what we've got for grass. And we've got some breakup again because it looks like we're not getting some readings. And we'll go across and we will see that we have a, that's an unusual. And we are quite calm as you see that we don't have cross phasing right now. Okay. So we do have some calm, okay. So and we had a C class. So 
so that C class B and C class flares are what we have from what we showed you in the previous video when we showed you what was going on on CME that's out there in space okay more than likely that or this conjunction with that and actually it would be this here this is what will conjunction with the latest that was your C flare there more than likely and actually it's factual because it matches up with the date okay uh, over the weekend and on Friday afternoon okay so now Thursday Friday and then there we have our uh, very 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 interesting so like I say tomorrow on the 10th we are going to more than likely have some very uh, interesting possibilities and as you see we have a unique trough jet stream north to south which is very new to America so and jet stream forecast over here and what we always end up getting so it's nice to have manipulation okay so watch your temperatures in your area and we're going to continue to get our manufacture of it should show in a minute we're going to continue to get to get the manufacture of what we've already showed you up here higher because you're going to get that from weather modification we are going to get what we get right there all the time so weather modification remember uh, altitudes folks there's all kinds of altitudes of jet streams okay uh, ionospheres stratospheres there's all kinds of spheres okay there's layers for our coronal and there's layers to our jet streams also high and low clouds and there's layers to our jet streams as you see there okay because that is North America there North Atlantic infrared image okay so keep watching the weather graphs quite interesting and the Sun is still getting I believe yep still getting a roll ball bearing action there on the Sun okay so whether it's electrostatic or if it's actually got something up there bowling ball around with the Sun because you can't miss the images that we are getting as you get those footprints okay it's either electrical static or it's actual rub and roll and if you watch my other two videos today you can realize that it might be another Sun As a matter of fact let's take you to that factual uh, and there's your CME again if you missed it earlier just misses the earth and that's earth there and it just misses okay so there's a recent uh, graph on the Hertzberg so that the idea that you know Hertz the Hertzsprung Russell diagrams that the idea that the Sun is right there okay and more than likely it is debris of the supergiants main sequence and Rigel Cantaris A and the tail remnants of Rigel Cantaris B or electrotic and anything in those massive distances between those stars okay in the supergiants main sequence because there are massive distances but there's also electrical magnification and we've seen what Comet Lovejoy did when it went by it reversed polarity so it's all electrical and we know that the Sun produces electrical energy because it's hotter than a piant okay along with all the other ones that are right here that we are basically showing you that are somewhat close to that and I've showed you watch all my videos and you'll get names of other supergiants and their heat effective temperature because they are coils in space they are suns they are stars and ie the earth is a dead star coil but we still have electrical magna volcanoes and ie speaking of volcanoes let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on over there and basically I'm really mad at myself because you will see the stars 
the light propagation from outer space that is turning around and you can see a triangulation right below and above the uh, the Japanese print there that's on the webcam you can see star rotation fast movement and you can also see other stars and fast rotations all over this web shot and I'm mad at myself because basically I was here a little while ago and if you go back and if there is anywhere that they are is history shots of I'm pretty sure there's got to be a catalog somewhere at some Japanese scientific site or something like that or somebody's got to be cataloging these shots uh, I think this froze now but a little bit earlier today uh, now yes the Sun and the supergiants and any stars that are giving light to Earth over in Japan right now are and all these lights and stars propagations from outer space right now uh, it's daylight beginning to be daylight over there but as the Sun was coming up the volcano was not flaring okay let me refresh this shot and I think I can get some more play again of the stars and quickly folks I'll be showing you 2013 and 2013 is when you got the closest thing so don't worry about anything in 2012 okay there are some stuff coming around decently close in 2012 in December okay but not until January February of 2013 is anything to even be as close as possible that we've had so far okay so so factually you can go and see all the time what's going on at these volcanoes because I have the links on every one of my if you hit the show more bar on all the videos I've got the links down here for these volcanoes that you can go to these live webcams okay and number nine is the one that you get this shot and this is the one that give you get the most and I'm having trouble refreshing right now to give this star action but if you back up the video that I was just sh showing you the idea that this stuff here was moving this stuff here is moving these stars here moving all these stars all around this shot and all these clusters this stuff here is moving in space in our earth sky on outer space and it is glowing on this volcano and they are getting it on as you see El Fuego and it wasn't El Fuego earlier this morning it was just the smoke okay so keep watching that volcano today it should be, it should be pretty interesting as you see it's flaring up again uh, it got hot this morning okay this is just recent it was gray and smoky like this over here down here earlier so she's a heating up she's getting it in the oven now here folks you go watch this and I'll show you the idea that they're trying to debunk and make a bunch of bunk bunk is basically uh, military talk for bunk talk which is usually BS which is basically what this possibly might be but not the not the meatball that I show you on the Soho shots because that stuff is real now this is possibly also actually factual real but the idea that you got to remember that there is artistic rendition and NASA needs to say exactly what that is when they show that okay I don't believe this to be an actual shot we'd like to see one and if they're pissed off and that it is one then let's see it and let's say that they put their name on that and say that it's real okay and yes people this is only video has been out for just a short time and we get a lot of action real fast so the idea that we don't ever trust the tickers but we do trust that to begin with the video so I'm going to show you on the factuality that when you should look at the links you hit here and you'll be able to get a shot and I like to go to nine there's also the other cameras to take a look at too and I want to thank the people that put them up I can believe that I can see a Sheila aliens you know her, her site and so forth and so on so and also the idea again folks that there this is supposed to be news my category is news and politics and it's on all this crap a room -a rama okay crap -a rama put it in the news and politics tube I mean you took everybody's communication away the videos are still supposed to be real and when I put it up it's just real news and scientific data sharing okay and it's news and politics because believe me there's politicians getting their ears pulled and being uh, whispered in and talked to and screamed in on a telephone probably or in person that what the hell is really going on there at NASA and up in space okay so we pay tax dollars for it we should be able to see right see the truth the factuality when we do you just got to look for it okay and you're not going to see it in the news press because the news press is only pressed out to what the propaganda wants you to see so here we refreshed and this is what we were basically seeing earlier today now I have to go and compare the clocks from what we were seeing on the shots but this is live again and as you'll see the star action until it get froze again so as you see you are not seeing things folks you are seeing you are seeing actual factual things okay fast moving rotating stars and planets 
and or just